previously on Hell's Kitchen. Now it's getting really serious. Heather, Keith, Sarah, and Virginia were taken to a secret location to run their own restaurant. I've been playing in my restaurant since I was a little kid. Or so they thought. Here are your restaurants. I was excited, because I love construction workers. While they all tried to please their customers. Mi corazón is in the piso ahorita. It was Virginia. Who else wants some lovin'? And her turkey panini that stole the hearts of the construction workers. Virginia's sandwich was very good. Congratulations. Wow. She won the most important reward ever in Hell's Kitchen. You're through to the final three. Being in the safe zone, I was so excited. While Heather suffered her biggest disappointment. They picked mine as the worst. I felt my heart drop. But at dinner service. 45 seconds. Heather redeemed herself. Heather, those Wellingtons are cooked perfect. Thank you, Chef. Keith got off to a good start. Keith, this is the best start we've ever had. Yes, Chef. But had problems with the pasta. They said that the spaghetti wasn't cooked all the way. Sarah miscalculated. Chef, I don't have enough salmon to get through the night. And had to fight for her survival. You're finished. No, Chef. Get it back I together. Don't need to be replaced. Virginia couldn't keep up with the pace. Who's holding this up, Heather? Virginia, Chef. Virginia, you're no longer safe. And just when it seemed that Virginia's fate was sealed. Cheers. Oh, oh my god. Chef Ramsay gave her a choice. I'm a man of my word. If you decide to stay, I'll send Sarah home. And in a shocking conclusion. I want to freaking stay. Because I fucking want to. Sarah, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. The deli chef from Texas was forced to say goodbye. And I just have to accept that I just wear a uniform like everybody else. Better get some sleep. Thank you, Chef. After the most intense elimination yet in Hell's Kitchen, <laughs> Virginia is feeling a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Are you happy or sad? I can't tell. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm just really confused right now. Am I here because of Chef Ramsay's word? Or am I, am I here because I deserve to be here? I couldn't say no, but I felt it. Like, what I told you in there definitely put me up there. I'm gonna go up there and be like, dude, I'm not ready. I didn't feel what I felt when I was standing in front of Gordon. If you decide to stay, I'll send Sarah home. Hell no, I don't want to go. Like, I had to say yes. I had to, like. I'm a little shocked. Virginia was all for going. She told me she was going to go, and I feel bad. You know, I told Sarah, Virginia's taking herself out. Oh my god, Sarah. Fucking bitch. My whole fucking theory was eliminating her. My theory. I'm glad she's gone. Good. You're never sure of anything here. And hell's kitchen! Dude, if I put you up, you would be gone. Oh, You're right. I feel safe against Virginia. She's so far behind in the kitchen. Every day we have to help her, every night we have to help her. That's why I'm not worried about her. He would not send Kay Grease home. Are you crazy? What do you guys think's better, me or Sarah? Tell me. No, honestly, who's better, me or Sarah? Ooh, you guys are too tired to think about it because I'm fucking raging right now. Whatever. She never faces the facts. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. It's going to be each first K, and then I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> 
this whole situation's giving me a new skin on life. I care about food, and yes, I'm unexperienced in the kitchen, but guess what? That's not gonna hold me down. It's not gonna hold me down. We still do the tomatoes julienne, right? Con Concasse? After just barely making the final three, Virginia is determined not to fail in another service. What was the longest she left a Wellington in for? I'm sick of her asking questions now. All morning long, she's been asking questions about service and this and that. Whenever he called him out, you would just put it in. You know what? I'm not going to help you win this thing because I want to win it. Good morning. I was a little surprised when I walked in the kitchen and saw Chef Ramsay cooking. I didn't know what to expect for today's challenge. I thought it might have been like a dessert that we had to make. All three of you have done bloody well. You're in the final three. Now, I've really got to get you up to speed with what it's going to take, not just to get to Vegas, but to become successful in Vegas. Yes, yes Chef. There. My signature dish. Have a quick smell. Just the, there should be something in there. Now, have a taste. This is your next challenge. 20 minutes to recreate that. Let's yes, go. Chef. Let's go. This challenge is one of the hardest tests any chef can face. I would get your pans on. Without any knowledge of the recipe, they must recreate a dish by taste alone. I will leave the dish out for you, yes? Yes, Chef. You can constantly keep on coming back and referring. Everything needed to make Chef Ramsay's signature dish can be found in the kitchen. But can they select the correct ingredients? There's a fish. Keith uses the Chilean sea bass, while Heather and Virginia have chosen the wild striped sea bass. I could be wrong. I'm really second guessing myself today. Now, each of them must create the puree for the dish. Taste, 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 and taste. I couldn't think of what the puree was. It was creamy and starchy like a mashed potato, so everybody was getting potatoes, but I really don't think it's potatoes. I looked on the speed rack. Yes. I saw the beans. I was like, that's what it is. Unlike Keith and Heather, who are using mashed potatoes for their puree, Virginia is taking a chance by using the Tuscan white beans. So halfway. Just under 10 minutes to go, yes? Now they've moved on to the sauce, and Keith has made a discovery about what he thinks is in the sauce, but he's not sharing. In the sauce, it was Israeli couscous, and uh, these girls were kind of watching me what I was taking, and I didn't want them to see. So I was just trying to hide the couscous. What is that? No, don't be cheap. No, I need that couscous. Virginia said she was looking for couscous too, but she didn't even know what couscous looked like. I'm not cheating. I fucking saw that shit. Yeah. Keith is a little brat. I don't think I was cheating at all. Last minute, come on. Yes, chef. While Keith and Virginia have both used couscous in their sauce, they disagree on the seasoning. Keith uses cilantro, as does Heather, while Virginia seasons her sauce with basil and grapefruit. Come on. 10 seconds, move your butt. Yes, chef. Come on, Heather. Yes, chef. 20 minutes, that went quick. Now it's up to Chef Ramsay, who must decide who has come the closest to recreating his signature dish. Now I want to taste. What is your dish? Sea bass potato puree with pancetta. Mm -hmm. The sauce is a confetti of vegetables. Tasty. And you use cilantro? Yes, sir. Yeah. Virginia. Yes, chef. Describe your dish, please. Uh, wild striped sea bass over Tuscan bean puree with ham hocks and cous pearl couscous. And the sauce is a grapefruit beurre blanc, uh, finished with a little bit of basil. Quite interesting so far. You've put cilantro in yours, and you've put basil in yours. Two very good dishes. Keith, what is it? Well, the sauce, I mean, uh, it's, I sweated down a mirepoix, finished it with cilantro and butter. The potatoes, I made uh, sauteed chorizo and onions. And then the fish, I just pan roasted. Nice balance and um, a really nice creamy puree. 
three very good accomplished dishes, all individually different. But for me, it's one of these three dishes that has the bass, the puree, and the sauce absolutely spot on. And that person is... Virginia. Congratulations. The pink grapefruit, the white bean puree, and the striped bass. Absolutely spot on. You have a palate. Hey, now use it. Thank you. I guess all those walks I took my tongue on every day really trained it. The winner of this challenge, Virginia, you're going to spend some quality time with me on the intimacy about cooking, running the line, running the hot plate. And I will personally go through as many secrets as possible that I know that will help you to become a top chef. Virginia won again. Of course she did. Makes you think that no matter how good you are, might not be chosen. Keith and Heather, working in a restaurant is never done. Jean-Philippe has got some assignments for you. Let's go. Having your own restaurant is not a strictly business operation. You have to be an artist. And I think I might be more of an artist than they are. That was a hard challenge. That was hard. Junior kills it on the fucking challenges, huh? What the fuck? Thanks. Whatever. I knew there was fucking something else in those potatoes, but there was just all beans you put? I went back in there to look for the bacon, and I saw the fucking beans in the, in the pancetta. I thought it was ham hock sitting right there. Yeah, the recipe's in a book. I would have gotten it, too, if I got his book two days prior and read it cover to cover. I'm going to get one of your cookbooks. Oh, my God almighty. I was really proud of the challenge today, proud of me, but Heather's totally jealous and it's bullshit. It's total bullshit. You think she recognized it from his book? She just got that book, and that recipe was in that book. You still have to do service, and she can't do it. She's been on the chopping block five times. She can't perform on the line. That's what really counts. Obviously, I want to win. And if I didn't win, I would want you to win. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to live with myself if she beats us. She can't win. Oh my god, I would be like. We should just work together to get her out. I'm not helping her out anymore. I'll tell you that fucking right now. Girls gotta go. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. Not so cool that I get to go train with Chef Ramsey. He already said I have a palate and talent, but I don't have the experience from working on the hotline. Chef Ramsey is going to tell me as many secrets as he knows. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go through the dish. I just want to cook it for you. It's to your advantage to ask as many questions as possible. While Virginia gets some much coveted alone time with Chef Ramsey, Keith and Heather get some alone time with Jean-Philippe, polishing all the glasses and silverware for the entire restaurant. Let's not waste any time. No. Action. Action? Action, Keith. Tilt the pan, and it cooks the back of the fish as well. And all I'm doing now is just making sure that this whole thing is cooked evenly. There's a lot of things that you can't be taught. It's not just having a good palate. It's actually being able to produce it. I wish I was getting a cooking lesson from Gordon Ramsay. That's a good prize. Yeah, it is. Something you can take home with you. Once they're in there like that, you just take your whisk and you just lightly crush them. I got to really just pull out the lessons I've learned and use that as gasoline to run my vroom, vroom car that's going to make it to the front of the line. In addition to a cooking lesson, Chef Ramsay has decided to give Virginia some pointers on expediting or running the pass. I'm going to get you to call out an order for me, OK? OK. Yeah? Did you see what he's doing? Teaching her how to expedite? No, and to cook on the line. He's showing her how to win. She's not going to grasp it. Dude, he's showing her.
Yes, Chef. I think it's beyond a fair situation right now. Uh, let's put a little bit of love into my uh, my glasses, will you? <sighs> I'm pissed. I'm so close to my dream, and I'm just gonna smile because Virginia might take it away from me. I don't think so. In a way, scare them. But if I scare you, you're not gonna forget. That sauce is totally wrong. There's chunks in it of white pepper. Well done. When I first started Hell's Kitchen, I didn't believe in being rude like that. Make it right! <laughs> well done. And now I totally believe in it, and I'm gonna be a bitch in the kitchen. Are you mad at me? No. You know what? You're not my friend right now, and you're not going to be. I mean, you obviously have the palette that or from his book. I didn't see it in his book. There's really nothing you could say. I mean, my palette doesn't lie. I was able to distinguish what was in the dish, and they weren't. I swear on my life, I didn't read, I didn't I didn't get it like that from the fucking cookbook. I didn't even know that there was vanilla in it. And I seriously doubt Chef would have picked a dish that was in the cookbook that he know I bought. Well, he might hook you up because he likes you. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's fucking rude. It's hard when I hear Keith and Heather laughing in the other room. It just sucks that I'm like the outsider. <laughs> it just, it just, it's hard, you know. Big day today, and one person's going home, and you all know what that means. This is Crash Course, everybody. This is Ramsey 101. My strategy is to not get in trouble by Chef Ramsey. Pull my pants up, keep my mouth shut, and cook. Let's go. Let's split up the vegetables then. I got all the veg. I'm going to set up that entire station. OK, well, I want to do some too. Virginia, she did get a huge lesson yesterday. But I've worked my whole life for this, and I'll be damned if I let anyone take that away from me. Teammate Virginia made another uh, batch. Excuse me? That's some kind of joke. Keith and Heather already think they're the winners. But it just gives me more drive and more force to want to prove them wrong, prove everybody wrong. The winner of Hell's Kitchen will become the executive chef in a multi-million dollar restaurant in Las Vegas. And for tonight's dinner service, Chef Ramsey has a master plan to help him decide who should stay in the running. OK, guys, let's go. Tonight's service will decide which of you will be the two finalists in Hell's Kitchen. All three of you are equal. I can't tell you who's going through. During tonight's service, each and every one of you will be stepping up to the hot plate and running the entire service. You're standing in my shoes. Show me that you have leadership qualities that are strong enough to run a brigade of chefs. We're going to be expediting. Ball's got to be on the wall tonight. Really, for real. Like, it's got to be serious tonight, because Vegas is on the line. The doors are opening right now. Yes, Let's go. Jean-Philippe, open house kitchen. I'm going to start with the scallops. Excellent. Spaghetti and lobster. As an additional challenge, Chef Ramsay has increased the capacity of the restaurant by adding six tables. And sous chefs Scott and Marianne will be helping out in the kitchen. Salmon, get it done now, yes? Yes, yeah, Chef. Well done. Shit, they burned. Too hot. I just burned two of the salmon. You burned two salmon. Give yeah. me salmon. Yeah. Now get it out of the fucking bin. Just an extraordinary level of casualness. How can you be just so, OK, I'll put it in the bin. I'm not. I, I'm upset about it. I want to recook him and do it right. But at least do it with some care, will you? Yes, yeah, Chef. Chef Ramsay is a freaking dog coming to attack you. Can you wake up? Yes, yeah, Chef. If you bow down, that dog's going to attack you even more. 
But if you stare back in that dog's eyes, that dog's gonna run off. Is this the start of what's to come? No, chef. Unbelievable. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken, Chicken. garnish. Oh, come on. Right here, chef. I have it, chef. Okay, missy. I needed a 30-second flash, chef. At least I deserve to know something, no? Chef, 30 seconds for the chicken. No answer. I said it, Chef. I should have said it louder. I apologize. Go, please. Three yeah. minutes. Chef, I was ready. I was trying so hard that I was screwing everything up. Why is it burnt? That's burnt skin. It's poached and then sauteed. Don't, don't dive down and say, is it really? I expect more out of me. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Don't insult me any fucking more. And it's embarrassing. And the sauce next time, do not bring me black bits of burnt stuff from the bottom of your pan, Heather. No, Chef! Despite getting off to a rocky start, Chef Ramsay is still going ahead with his plan to let each of the chefs run the kitchen. Keith, on the hot plate. Yes, Chef. Scott, take over, please. Let's go. So, two spaghetti. Once the jet went to four is away now, yeah? Pick it up, yes? Over to you. Scott, how long I'm one? Those two spaghettis? Two spaghetti, I got four minutes. One of the most important functions of running the pass is quality control. What Keith doesn't know is that his standards are about to be put to the test. Spaghetti's up. Thank you, Chef. Scott, is pasta overcooked? By one in five minutes, Scott. Well done for spotting that spaghetti you have cooked. Now, address your brigade. Cut the scallops just in half, Virginia, not into three, OK? It's like you're talking to your best mate. I haven't seen any leadership quality so far. At this rate, your brigade will be running you. Run the brigade, yeah? Come on, let's go. Keith has successfully passed his quality control test. But the question still remains, can he lead a kitchen? Stand by on one bass, one salmon. Yes, chef. Hey, you called out that order. Virginia didn't answer you. Virginia, you didn't answer me? Yes, Chef. What'd I say, Virginia? Stand by on one salmon, well done, and... I'm sorry, I forgot what else you said. Where are we? I've lost track of where we are. Repeat the order again, please. All I... right, one salmon medium, one bass. Yes, Chef. Virginia, how long? Um... This is incredible. I need... Wait, hold on, what is going on right now? Is that you're going to buckle now? I need three minutes. They're telling you now. You have got to tell I them. I want it in two minutes, Virginia. Two. The pass, you couldn't control. I'm on that bath. Is that bath ready? I kind of had to take control. You, you got to hold your own. And you, you have a set of balls, right? You. End of story. Heather, it's ready? I just pulled it out. I just got to heat up the potatoes. How long? Heather. You got to give me a time. How long? It's going to be about seven minutes for this. Jesus. Nothing more. Two bass, one salmon, urgently. That's all. Then we go again, because right now we're in the shit. Virginia, yes, move chef. your ass. Yes, chef. Back online, please. He was looking for us to be him. I'm not going to change who I am. Who says you have to be a dick to be a chef? <laughs> it's an hour into dinner service. Because of Virginia's problems on the fish station and Keith's inconsistent leadership, the kitchen has only managed to serve appetizers and entrees to 25 out of 124 diners. Want to go somewhere else? No way. Wait a few minutes. Heather. Yes, chef. Stop what you're doing on the hot plate. Now it's your yes, chance. Chef. Now you're going to run a house kitchen. Yes. That's the way now. Three Wellington, one salmon, one bass, one duck. That's moving. Ask how long that is to the window. Wellington, need you know how long? 30 seconds. Bath, how long, Virginia? Coming right now. No, that's How no long? time. That's no time. How long? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Where do we go with tables on? Where do we go oh, with right tables? Yeah, come on. Just calm down. Slow down. Hey, just breathe. Slow down a bit. Breathe and do it better. Right now, you're out of control. Although each chef is being tested on the pass, Chef Ramsay still expects to see excellence from them in the kitchen. Where's the other risotto? Two risotto. Come on, Keith, please. Have we got any more risotto than this? Was it enough? You want me to just that in there like that? Hey, listen, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not arguing with you. OK, come here. Hey, it's, it's, the way, it's the way you look at me. I'm sorry. No, 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 look at me. Hey, 
You looked at me to scrape it out the bottom of the pan. I didn't I say see. to scrape it, chef. I'm what sorry. did you say then? I thought because of the other plate, that's where so the rest of it was. So I took it off the plate, away. put it in there, and it was still fucking under. I'm sorry, chef. Well, you're not, because it's the attitude that stinks, and I don't want any more fucking arguing. Just two risottos, and we can continue, yes? Shit. Come here, you. Right now, the attitude, you can stick up your ass. Where's the fucking risotto? I missed it, chef. You know what? Apart from take your head off, Jeremy, I'll fucking kick you out right now. I won't wait till the end of service. He was pushing my buttons, trying to make me talk back to him. He didn't like my attitude, he says. You know what I mean? I tried to, to not have an attitude, but it came out. This is your night. I said you're at 6 o'clock. You're all fucking even. Right now, you're so far behind, you don't know what's going on. I need those two risotto. How long, Keith? Keith. Seven minutes. Six minutes. Is he going to give up? No, he's not giving up. Heather's leadership has now stabilized the kitchen. How long are those appetizers? Four and a half minutes. So it's the perfect time for Chef Ramsay to attempt a little bit of sabotage. Marianne, with me, please, two seconds. Not this table, but the next table, one of bass. I want the lumpy potatoes. Let's go. You got it, Let's go. Potato. 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 Watch the chunks of the potatoes, please. Yes, Chef. Go. You, stop. Bring the tray back. The potatoes, Missy, were purposely lumpy, disgusting. I... Hey, that was a trick. Don't <laughs> fucking dare right now argue. Yes, chef. I want Chef. I told her to put lumps in there. I wanted to see if you're going to taste it, to establish some form of quality. I saw the lumps, but I second-guessed myself, and that's my biggest weakness. Back on your section. Let's go. It's two hours into a very unique dinner service. Although different chefs have been running the kitchen, they've still managed to serve over half their 124 diners. And the lamp Wellington for you. Oh, it is oh. us. You, on the hot plate. Yes, chef. Now, Missy, I'm saying it once. Shut yes, the fuck chef. up and run house kitchen. End yes, of story. Chef. One salmon, one chicken, two Wellington, one salmon medium, one Wellington well done. Four minutes to the window. You have to repeat that, please. She said she didn't hear you. Please repeat time. that, clear. Four minutes to the window. One chicken, two Wellington, one salmon. One salmon medium, one Wellington well done. Yes! Chef. Her tone of voice is funny when she tries to yell. It sounds like a cartoon character. I wasn't even listening to her. Start to dress one salmon, one chicken. Yes, yes Chef. Heather, do you hear me? One salmon, one chicken. Yes. Now you're getting the system going. Good. Impressed by Virginia's energetic start. You're doing the salmon chili and mess on this table. Yep, you do it. Chef Ramsay wants to see if she can keep track of her orders and catch the substitution of bass for salmon. One salmon, one chicken, how long? Two minutes! All right, Chef. Come on, let's yeah, go. Chef. Oh, uh, my fault, Chef. Good. Well spotted. Garnish is fine. Keep this bass hot. Urgently. Keep this hot. Take the bass back. Good. Realizing that her turn at the pass is almost over, Virginia is determined to finish strong. Heather? Yes. Slow that down. Nothing's going out until I get one salmon and one bass. After that, three Wellington, one duck, one salmon, one bass. Yes, Chef. There you go. Let's yeah. go. With only three tables left, Chef Ramsay is ending the service the way he started it, at the helm of his own restaurant. Pick it up, let's go. Yes, let's go. Chef. Although he's had the chance to see the individual skills of each chef at the pass, he wants to remind them that success in the kitchen is not just about outshining their competition. Can we come together like a team? Yes, yes chef. chef. Right after that, one Wellington. Wait, three Wellington, one salmon? Right now. It's hard to be a teammate to someone that you're in a contest against. Heather, how long? Going right now. You haven't even, you didn't even told me. Go. I said, I said 30 seconds. Virginia, Heather, where is the teamwork? I said I was going 30 seconds, Chef. Come on. Sorry, Heather. This is the last table. Three and a half minutes, Virginia. Three and a half minutes. I want to get through the, um, the entire service just to make everybody happy. Do you have a nonstick pan over there? Yeah, here. Three wellies and three salmon. Let's go. Go. Plate it up. Plate it up. I'm ready on the salmon. Pasta. Go, please. Thank you. Tonight, 
I witnessed your leadership qualities. All of you. Now, a good leader, each and every day, has to make tough decisions. I want you each to nominate the person that you think should be leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. Who was the weakest cook? And who was the weakest leader on that line? Off you go. Let's go. I think that Heather and Keith, they automatically think they're like the last two and that I'm gonna be eliminated, but it's all up to Chef Ramsay. I've been on the chopping block three million times now, but I'm still here. You guys are both nominating me, right? He's probably gonna stay me home anyway. I totally am not gonna be surprised tonight if I go he home. He didn't have the greatest attitude tonight. I know, he had a horrible attitude. He was, I don't think he was very good at expediting, but I was actually really surprised at him. I barely heard him when he was expediting. The weakest line cook is obviously Virginia. However, Keith was quiet tonight, and I don't think Keith has a good attitude either. You're voting for Virginia, right? She's still the weakest, you know what I mean? Like leadership? I mean, you could have been louder. Who oh, fuck around, Heather. I hope Heather doesn't try to throw a curveball, you know? But uh, I don't even think either one of them did bother me, so I'm not worried. What are you doing? Packing my bags. I mean, I can't fake it. I can't try and be something I'm not. If I'm not experienced enough, I'm not experienced enough. Well, that's all it comes down to, really. So I know you're gonna nominate me tonight, right? No. I mean, Heather was freaking, like, yelling. Uh, I was pissed when she was expedited. I need those two risotto. How long, Keith? Keith. Seven minutes. Six, Six minutes. minutes. She, she was she... yelling about shit that doesn't even make sense. Wow, so there's a bunch of shit going on that I didn't even notice. I guess. Whew. Keith. Yes, Chef. Who have you nominated and why? Chef, I nominated Virginia because her performance on the line, as it was, better than usual. I don't think she was better than Heather. Also, when she was uh, leading the kitchen, expedited, I was just confused. Thank you. Virginia. Yes, Chef. Who have you nominated and why? I nominated Keith. When he was on the pass, I didn't feel that he had a very strong leadership skill, and I didn't really see the love or passion that he has for food tonight. I didn't see any fire. Thank you. Heather. Yes, Chef. Who have you nominated and why? Keith could have been louder, a little bit more demanding, but Tonight, I've nominated Virginia, Chef. Uh-huh. She didn't give me that demand. She didn't look me in the eye and demand the respect that she deserved while she was up there. Thank you. Keith, Virginia, step forward, please. Keith. Yes, Chef. This is your first time up here. Ever. Tell me why you think you should be a finalist in Hell's Kitchen. I want this. I want to be in the finals. I want to have my chance to win, go to Vegas. It's my dream, a dream come true. If you give me that chance, I mean, I won't let you down. Virginia. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm not an old dog. You can teach me new tricks. If you really put the time and care into me, I could think exactly like you do exactly what you do, because I don't have any old habits. You can work with me. You can teach me. I'm ready, I want it, I'm willing, I'm able. This is quite possibly one of the toughest decisions I've ever had to make. 
Well done for spotting that. You have to have a cup. You know what? Apart from take your head off, you know what? I'll fucking kick you out right now. I won't wait till the end of service. Wait, hold on. What is going on right now? This is incredible. Three Wellington, one duck, one salmon, one bass. Yes, chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight and will not be going through to the final two is... Is... Keith. All I'm looking for right now is a leader. And personally, big boy, I don't think you're ready. Give me your jacket, please. So you're telling me that Virginia is a better leader than me? I've been leading the whole thing. Even when, whatever station I was on, I'm leading the, the line throughout whatever team I was on the whole time with people that didn't even know anything. I personally don't think you're ready to lead. I personally think that you have a hard on for Virginia. Yeah. Why'd you have to be so fucking rude? Cause you're rude to me all the time. So? Now, I definitely know I've made the right decision. So your attitude does think. I definitely deserve my own restaurant. The whole time I've been here, I did nothing but kill it. He doesn't like my personality, so fuck him, because I've cooked better than all those bitches. You've got two choices. You run the team, or the team runs you. And sadly, the team ran Keith. If Keith can only lose the attitude, underneath all that, there's one talented, talented cook. Pat. Still wearable. Congratulations, Keith. <laughs> Do me a favor, just pull your pants up a little bit, yes? The view of your crack to table seven is not appealing. I wear my underwear up high and my pants low, because that's how I rock them. John Philippe's over there! <laughs> Barry! He's Belgium, you idiot. Keith, that Wellington's cooked perfectly. Thanks, chef. Heather is one tough bitch. <laughs> he didn't like my personality. He didn't like cake grease. I tried to hide him, but he fucking got out. So it's bullshit. You two are Hell's Kitchen finalists. Congratulations to you both. I'm really pleased to see you both here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. One of you is going to have the very own restaurant in Vegas. This is where it gets really exciting. Enjoy the moment. Get some rest. Thank you, chef. See you in the morning. Thank you. Virginia, well done to you both. Now, you can... now enjoy some bubbled love, Gordon. Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> Virginia and Heather celebrate making it to the final two. Cheers, Cheers to you and me. Cheers. But Chef Ramsay has one more surprise in store for them. Wait! Oh my god. Next week on the season finale of Hell's Kitchen. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Virginia, Heather, are you ready? Yes, chef. Who will win Hell's Kitchen? Will it be Creative Virginia, the salad chef from California? I want to freaking win tonight so badly I can taste it. Or Passionate Heather, the sous chef from New York. I'm going to give this girl a fight tonight. The winner will have their own restaurant in the billion dollar Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas. <laughs> But first, they will face their former competitors. Not gonna work for a woman. Not gonna happen. And their demands. 
I want some money and I want it right now. Plus, a hungry media. How does your husband feel about you being on the show? And go head to head redesigning Hell's Kitchen. They're both gonna crave your very own restaurant. Then they will face off. Got this. You guys, come on! In the most important dinner service. This is raw. I need those abs. Of their lives. Tom, the shore of now. I need those things. Come on! Who will Chef Ramsay choose as the Hell's Kitchen winner? Congratulations. Find out next time on the Hell's Kitchen season finale.